All right, guys. <clears throat> so we're doing a little scouting the evening before squirrel season, which is going to happen tomorrow. Super excited about it. Uh, I got my bags packed. Sorry, my camera work's going to be terrible because I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. I left my bug spray. But uh, we paddled across the river from my house and uh, figured we'd do a little scout and see if we couldn't find us a good feed tree to set up on early in the morning. I'll probably come out here with my vest and my saddle and I'll set up a few minutes before the sun comes up. And uh, be waiting on them when they start coming out their dens and going to a feed tree. It's usually a pretty good early season tactic. So you can see, kind of on the ground, you can see the ground is real, real clean. Um, that's because we had a big flood. It's dried out now, but it swept away all the accumulated leaf litter. So it's real easy. You can just walk through this island that I'm on. And you can just kind of scan the ground. And you're just walking, just regular old walking pace. And until you get to something... It stops your interest, which here is going to be, if you look down, you got green acorns and you got little pieces of acorn, okay? And it's not super, super heavy, but there's a pretty good concentration of it on the ground. And it's all centering, I believe, off of this tree, all right? And there's a few trees around. You can kind of see it's fairly open through here which is nice and the canopy is fairly open so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a particular tree where we can set up at the base of it in our saddle and get some shots up at the canopy they're going to be up in the trees early tomorrow morning and they're going to be cutting so what we want to do is we want to be in a spot where we can see up into the canopy of these trees as much as possible. We don't want the small trees and saplings blocking us out. So we're going to see. I'm just going to check. There's a big tree over here. So if we can get up in between several, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm seeing acorn shards up under this tree. Not a bunch, but the acorns are still green, so there ain't a lot for them to cut. But they're moving in on them. Uh, early season... They'll start hitting the red oak acorns, whichever drops first. They'll hit those, but usually before those ripen up, they'll be hitting hickory, cypress, and beech. And we got plenty of cypress all along the shore. So we got plenty of food options there. So that one's dropping. There's another one. So we can see up in the canopy of that one pretty good. We're just looking to see if we can see up in the canopy of three or four of these trees we can swing around the tree and get good shots at all of them that's some little green acorns this might not be too bad this is the tree we're up in the drip line and yeah we got gold we got some acorn shards nothing super heavy but we know that we got three big trees all right and i think i can go back to this one spot Where I'm seeing all of them. So that one, I want to be able to shoot it. And we got a maximum effective range of probably about 40 or 50 yards. We're going to be shooting uh, actually some pretty cool loads. I lucked out and found their uh, number five, uh, actually like Remington Nitro pheasant loads or something like that. So that's going to shoot pretty good out of that gun really <coughs> choked on a bug um really here would be perfect because you can see i don't know if you can see but that's the first tray i noticed so you can see we got a clear unobstructed shot up into that canopy there's that tree over there all right there's that tree we can see up in it good we kind of see up in that one. We're kind of giving up something. But I think this tree, right here in front of us, um, or maybe this sapling. I think I think we're going to tether off with this sapling. Do us a little preliminary clearing. We want the ground. It's going to be perfect, but we want it. 
fairly clean up around it so we can maneuver. So this is good. We can see up into that tree. We could probably get a shot up in there and we can see boom, boom, boom. We can see three good sized big oak trees. And uh, we're gonna sit here until we make enough ruckus or shoot all the squirrels. We're gonna sit here until it slows down. And then what we'll do is we'll start working that way. We'll just start working uh, the perimeter of the island. It goes and it stays as high ground for a few hundred yards. But I don't think really, if you're lucky on an opening day set like this, these squirrels ain't been bothered. I'm gonna be the only person out here harassing them. So hopefully this should be easy money to come out here tomorrow. And as long as we remember to bring the bug spray, we should be able to come out here and kill a kill a limit of these jokers and be out of here before the woods heat up. So what I'm going to do, I brought some trail markers and all I done is just stuck them on the edges of my wallet. I just need a few. I'm going to mark this tree right here so I can see it and set up on it good. And uh, I'm going to mark, just for giggles, I'm going to mark the base of the main tree I intend to be shooting. So I won't forget. I'm going to come out here the next morning. And tomorrow should be a massacre. I don't see any squirrels right now in the evening, but it is hot. Um, and I am a little bit late. Usually they move. It seems like there's a 30 minute to an hour period before dark that they move. Man, I got skeeters everywhere. Uh, they don't they don't move like deer do right at dusk and right at dawn in my experience usually the squirrels come out and about the time the squirrels leave the deer come out so but we're gonna uh we're gonna mark this stuff so we can come back to it easy we're gonna hit them in the morning <laughs> 